Dear listener, this is Kwasim from ittechbiddy.com. Today, I am going to show you how to create domain in Oracle WebLogic Server 12c, 12c by using config.cmd. This config.cmd you find your WebLogic Server installation directory inside. This one, my installation directory is C drive. Go to your installation directory. My installation directory C drive under Oracle under middle layer. This folder inside you click Oracle common, then click again common, then again click bin. This inside you find C config dot cmd. This one you run as administrator, then. start configuration wait some time configuration wizard running this is configuration wizard you wait little bit This is Fusion Middle Air Configuration Wizard. This is Fusion Middle Air Configuration Wizard. Here Domain. This is Select. Then here. This one come by default. This is called Base Domain. By default come you can change any name. Here right. I give here my domain name. This one I write before. I take BD underscore domain. This one copy, then I paste here. Paste. You can write and you can copy paste like this yourself. Then okay, then click next. Then here, very important you which one you need, you can select for Oracle form and report builder. Which one need now? I showing you this one need check mark. Also need report application. Call report application. Go down here. You need this one report tools server. When you select first one, then you just this one automatically select. Also need this one bridge. Report bridge this one also need OHS server HTTP. This one also need this one need OHS server. Then also need this one report Oracle report Oracle report server report tools Oracle HTTP server OHS server. Enterprise Manager, then report application and Oracle form. So, like this, you check mark. If you need, you can give one more. I click next. Like this, you select. Then here, showing domain name. See, I G T B D. This is domain location. Then click next. Then here you need to give username, weblogic username and password. I give username password like this. Weblog username weblogic one password also same. You can give any name. So this is you easily remember. So which one you can easily remember like this? You give then click next. Here, domain node mode. Which one need deployment and protection? I need protection. This one. Then click new next. Then here Oracle database. Our host name. Our host name local host. Right here, local host. Local H O S T host. Then you need to service name means your database name. Right here your database name my. Database name or CLDB. This one 
then you need to fork this one in database this one fork number by default 1521 okay then you write here your schema password that means sys password right here this password right then click get rcu configuration this one click now connecting to the database server okay successfully done click next then here you see showing component schema then host name then database name service name all then click next component schema here see showing summary which one successfully done see all test was successfully and check mark ok click next then here we need check mark node manager topology system component this one node manager then topology then system components this one then click next also we need to give here node manager username password i use here here same password web logic one username password i will use here same password before i use web logic username password my text this one this one i use before same one i give here you can use same username password then you can easily remember then click next here probably as from or look at okay report okay this is port number 9001 9002 then click next then here cluster form report okay click next click next then here cluster form reports click this one dynamic server okay no need change anything then click next again click next this one again click next admin server localhost click next here we need to move this one select this one then move this one under admin server machine then click next so this is virtual target this one no need anything this one no need click next again partition click next from one okay system go here need add ohs server ohs one then you select click drop down this one then select ohs okay then click next then here summary we need to change listener address here you write localhost listener address l o c a l local h o s t host local host then listener port you write here this one by the default come you remove this one then write 88848 right here like this then here address come see service name local host then port number 48c you are showing then click next then move this one under admin server machine machine okay now move this one see then click next now showing all summary we need to create click click create then creating configuration process now our domain now creating still you wait some time now processing last one post processing
and hundred percent complete. All mark here showing green. Okay, click next. Here domain location. You see here this one your domain location. This is admin server URL here. Later I will show you. Discuss now. Click finish. So like this way you can create. A domain in WebLogic Server 12C by using config.cmd. So, if you feel any problem, please comment me. I will try to solve your problem. If you benefited from from this tutorial, please like, share, comment, and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.